Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can double your SEO traffic by using the likes of Reddit to actually build out topical authority and also build a cohesive uh, topical map for your website. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, obviously, Google ranks websites based off of two things, domain authority, so that's how many backlinks that you actually have pointing through to your website. That's essentially vouchers um, from other websites. So, for example, Forbes.com, that also has got a lot of links and a lot of blogs pointing to it. If they were to link to your brand new local business, um, Google would see that as a very big vouch and they would basically rank you higher. And the second thing that Google looks at is obviously topical authority. Hey, very quickly, if you want results like this dental practice, for example, we took the website from zero monthly visits in November and they are now getting over 750 monthly visits through to their website. They're actually able to generate their own inquiries for the business and they aren't relying on third party um, agencies to generate them leads like they were before or this law firm that we were able to take from 1,100 to just over 2,000 monthly visits through to their website as you can see from the graph or this e-commerce store where we were able to grow them from 7,500 to just over 30,000 monthly visits to their website and it's generating a lot of sales through to their e-com store if you want results like that, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form, see if my team can help. If I feel like SEO isn't suitable for your business, I can also guide you on where you should be spending your marketing budget. But back to the video. And that is basically how many articles you have um, that are of quality and that is actually helping the user. And that basically is what what is topical for you. So the amount of articles that you actually have on a certain subject. So if you're trying to rank for the best credit cards, if you've only got one article, but let's say, for example, in the UK, you've got Money Supermarket. If they've got 300 articles, they're obviously going to always beat you because they've just got more topical authority. Google trusts them a lot more. Now, with this, we're going to be using the likes of Reddit to basically build out our topical um, authority. And obviously, everybody knows that Reddit ranks very, very well. It's got a lot of actual um, traffic. So, for example, if we just load up a Ahrefs really quickly, um, it's that slow. Or it, sorry, Ahrefs is taking that long because it just ranks for so many keywords. Um, I'm going to be surprised if it's going to show all of it. Yeah, there we go. 636 million traffic every single month. Now, that is a little bit on the lower end as well with tools like Ahrefs and stuff. They always show you a little bit uh, lower. I wouldn't be surprised if this is probably actually close to like 1 billion hits um, a month. Um, that's typically just from my experience. But anyway, um, as you can see, Reddit do very, very well. Um, so let's base our website off of a working strategy, right? So this is a tool called Encava. Um, everything that I'm going to be uh, showcasing to you guys today is all in the SOP. So if you guys do want it, head over to the link in the description. You'll get an email. I promise I won't spam you to death. But we've got all the steps, right? So step number one, go to Ancava. And basically, this is just a tool that you can plug in your actual, um, or your, uh, let's actually go to the URL. You can plug in any keyword that you're trying to rank for or any subreddit um, that is similar to the keyword that you're trying to rank for. Um, and it will basically give you um a load of other relevant um, subreddits. So for example, I've just plugged in SEO and it's given us a load of different um, related um, subreddits. Now, if we were to, for example, do, let's say um, law, right? We could do, or actually we could do lawyers and do, 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 do. lawyers useful things so i basically what i would be looking at here is um any related actual um articles or sorry any related actual subreddit so law was um is one example you've obviously got like stuff like landscaping um you can click on go and as you can see it's bringing back all of the subreddits that are relevant to um landscaping um, now, some of these will not be relevant. Um, for example, if, if you are doing, let's say, um, let's say you're, you're doing some really nice gardens, maybe you're fitting in some like jacuzzis and stuff like that. 
um there there's certain sub sub um articles where it's like you you it's just not going to be relevant but let's say for example interior design that that's pretty relevant to to um landscaping you've got gardening obviously um now what i would basically be doing is i'll go back to the actual seo example um what we want to do next is once we actually have this list here we'll actually want to gauge the actual um how popular the subreddit is right so for example if we just open up subreddit stats and if we go to the home page this is what it looks like a very ugly website i do know um but if we take one of the subreddits here like let's say for example we've got sas um now that is pretty relevant to seo because a lot of people that are in sas or they are when they're developing sas uh, companies they actually do want seo so i'm just going to plug in sas here and this will tell us how popular that actual subreddit is so if it's a dying niche or if it's an actual industry that's going up so as you can see here, um, you do have the actual members, uh, the amount of people like that have subscribed to that actual list. And as you can see, um, it is going up. Um, it's not as obviously um, popular as like a subreddit, like for example, entrepreneurship. I'm hoping I've spelled that correctly. I've, of course I've not. Get stats, right? So if we go to entrepreneurship subreddit, um, as you can see, um, the subscriber count on that's actually a little bit, or actually, surprisingly, it's not um, as much as I thought. But let's look at a couple others. Tech, um, we've got WooCommerce. WooCommerce gets stats, and as you can see here, it's got all of the stats here. So you can see if it is actually a dying um, niche or a actual good niche. Now, what I would be looking at doing here is the next step is obviously downloading a tool called Gaiazo, or you can just take a regular sc screenshot. Um, but this, basically what this tool does is it just allows you to take a screenshot. And what we're going to then do is just save this image. And we're then going to head over to our trusty old ChatGBT. Now, you can see I've actually been playing around with this myself, but this does actually work very, very well. We're then going to just copy this into ChatGBT, if it allows us. I just maybe need to move my face. There we go. And then we're going to use the first prompt in the actual sheet. So this is the prompt. Can you extract all of these subreddits into a table format with three columns? Column one, I want the name of the subreddit. Column two, the type of people within that subreddit. And column three, pain points that they actually have, right? That's really important to understand, especially if you are looking to do like um, topical authority. You need to understand who's going to be reading your actual content so you can actually... Um, go a little bit more deeper into actually the pain points and the struggles and it's just it's not not it's not so much for the actual seo benefits but it's more so for actually converting that traffic into an actual paying customer a lot of people they chase uh, keywords but they don't actually think of the type of person that's actually going to be reading that if they've got scaling issues if they've got funding issues if you can actually uh, include certain terminology like that in your article you've got a much higher chance of actually converting that seo traffic to into an actual paying customer right so what we then pro uh, want to do is obviously we want to evaluate all of these subreddits we don't want to start doing um SEO articles for dropshipping, if we can see that dropshipping is a dying industry, for, exa for example, right? But let's say, for example, we pick out the... Do, 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 do. We'll do the... Um, I guess we'll go after the WooCommerce industry, right? So we're going to use this prompt. Now, this is, this, this is two prompts that you can obviously use. You can use prompt A, which is I'm starting a key I'm starting a keyword here business so SEO business or WooCommerce SEO business. I want to uh, give you uh, or sorry I want you to give me ten articles top of the funnel, ten articles middle of the funnel, and one article bottom of the funnel targeting insert subreddit right. And the reason why I've done that I've actually included the image here 
but I've also got a bigger version of the image as well, so it's a little bit easier to see. So you, we've got like top of the funnel um, keywords, we've got middle of the funnel keywords, and we've also got bottom of the funnel keywords. You, you need to understand this when you're doing any form of topical 40 and when you're trying to scale out um, articles and keyword research on your website. So top of the funnel is very much um, awareness style keywords. Middle of the funnel is consideration. So for example, top of the funnel is what, what is sustainable fashion? Middle of the funnel is eco-friendly clothing reviews. And bottom of the funnel is decision. So they're ready to buy. And a keyword that you basically want to try and rank for is buy organic dress, right? We've, we've pushed people down the actual funnel by using this strategy. And that's the exact strategy we're going to be using here today. So but going back to the actual prompts, we've got two different prompts. You can use prompt A if you are a newer website. You can also use prompt B if you're a more established website. And the only difference here is at the end, I've just said, can you also look at my sitemap and not recommend any articles I have already included on my website? You can obviously paste in all of your um, pre-existing articles and basically we, we then won't have any keyword overlap, right? So I'm just gonna grab this. I'm going to paste this in here and I'm going to say I'm starting a um, SEO business, right? And then the subreddit that we're going to actually target is we're going to pick one of these ones. We'll go after um, we'll go after WooCommerce. Why not? I'm going to hit on enter and then this will do its thing. Um, Basically, the reason why um, we also wanted to understand the type of people that are gonna that's actually browsing these subreddits is the it's it's pretty important when it comes to actually figuring out what kind of articles they're actually gonna read as well. Um, also, one other thing that you can uh, do as well is if you're ever uncertain of if a actual subreddit is is good or not you can obviously head over to ahrefs and plug in that subreddit into the actual um into ahrefs i think my ahrefs has crashed um let's just paste that into here so this is the woocommerce one here and as you can see, it's get it's actually ranking for four point four thousand keywords. It's getting nine thousand six hundred traffic. And if we click on organic keywords, it's going to show us what keywords that um, this subreddit actually ranks for. One thing to bear in mind, and this goes with any keyword research tool, is the fact that there's a lot of keywords that actually don't show up in Ahrefs. So they're called classed as zero search volume keywords, and there's a lot of them and there's some websites that show zero traffic on, on Ahrefs but they're actually getting thousands of hits every single month because they're targeting these zero search volume keywords. So just bear that in mind when you are obviously um, going through some of these. There, there's, some, there's obviously a, a lot of great articles here that we can definitely write about like WooCommerce versus Shopify, best WooCommerce plugins, etc. But the only issue you do have is that when you're just replicating this, like if you're just looking at a subreddit, if you're just looking at a subreddit, you you don't really have a sense of direction. What we've actually tried to do with this prompt is I've mentioned I am starting a XYZ business. I am starting a landscaping business. I want you to give me 10 articles, top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, one bottom of the funnel, um, targeting XYZ subreddit. So the, the reason why we've stated the type of business is because some of these articles, yes, it might be very relevant to WooCommerce, but not, it might not be so super relevant to WooCommerce SEO. So just bear that in mind when you are doing your keyword research and when you are building out topical authority, because a lot of people, they would look at this and think, right, okay, I need to write all of the, uh, an article on all of these keywords. And that's not actually the case. Like for example, Whoopi, it's not really got much to do with, um, with actual WooCommerce SEO. Um, but let's go back to the actual ChatGPT and see which type of articles it's come back with. So what is SEO? And why is it important for WooCommerce stores? Yep. 10 common SEO mistakes WooCommerce stores owners make. Yep. Brilliant. Ultimate guide to WooCommerce SEO. Beginner's edition. How to improve your WooCommerce site speed for SEO. Top 10 WooCommerce plugins to boost your store's SEO. The importance of mobile SEO for WooCommerce sites. 
WooCommerce SEO checklist, understand the on-page for WooCommerce product pages, how structured data helps WooCommerce stores rank higher in Google, the role of local SEO for WooCommerce businesses. Now, obviously, these are top of the funnel keywords. They're not really, um, they're not buyer intent based keywords. You're essentially just showing to Google that you are the expert um, with these articles, right? That's the sole purpose of these first 10 articles. Then we've got middle of the funnel. So these are consideration, how to conduct an SEO audit. So for example, the, 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 pur the purpose of this article would be like, okay, I'm an expert, here's my um, audit. And a lot of people, when they see an audit template, they're like, do you know what? I'd, I'd rather just hire this agency to actually perform this SEO audit. Um, so that's the purpose of, of um, this style of article. Case study. So obviously case studies do really well. How SEO boosted sales for WooCommerce store. The ultimate guides to WooCommerce SEO plugins and tools. How to optimize WooCommerce product pages for higher conversion. Advanced SEO strategies for scaling your WooCommerce store, how to implement technical SEO for WooCommerce, a step-by-step -step guide. Again, somebody that's going to read this, they're going to essentially get to like word 3,500 on the page and they're just going to say, do you know what, I'd rather just pay somebody to, to actually perform this audit or this technical SEO audit from a website. The complete guide to WooCommerce category and product pages. So how to set up um, category pages, how to actually do product page SEO, etc. SEO versus paid ads, what's better for WooCommerce store owners. How to use content marketing to improve SEO for your WooCommerce store. Best practices for WooCommerce SEO in 2024. And then we have got why choose Casual Dash for your WooCommerce SEO needs, right? So that's essentially the actual funnel process done from top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and also bottom of the funnel. Also, one thing to bear in mind as well is I've only just mentioned one um, article at the bottom of the funnel. You can obviously tweak that to say, give me more articles bottom of the funnel. So that's one thing that I'll actually do. Give me four more bottom of the funnel um, articles. The reason why I have done that is because in some cases when you when you say like, give me 10 bottom of the funnel, it can be a little bit too repetitive, but... Um, obviously have a play around with it, actually do the search and try to figure out if you do need a page for that. So for example, how our customized SEO strategy transformed the WooCommerce stores, traffic and sales. This, I would probably say is very similar to the actual case study that it mentioned. So just bear that in mind. Um, WooCommerce SEO service pages, what's included and how we deliver results. Yeah, that's fine. The ROI of professional SEO for WooCommerce stores. Is it worth the investment? Yeah, that's pretty decent. Schedule your, your WooCommerce SEO audit with Casual Dash um, today. So that has been how I do keyword research using um, Reddit. One thing to bear in mind as well is I'm, I'm hoping that once you guys have obviously seen the actual articles that is actually suggested, you can see that there is an actual sense of direction as opposed to just copying what Reddit actually has um, or what it's actually ranking for here. So that that's the that's the main reason why we're using this prompt here. It's it's a super uh, super important prompt to use um, when you are looking to actually reverse engineer Reddit's SEO strategy. But that has been my video on how I do topical authority using Reddit. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. And as always, if you guys do want a free growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check out casualdash.com or um, check the link down in the description. Thanks.